Once you're into your EBSCO database, you can search for a particular topic. So if I'm interested in uh, beauty pageants, I can do that as a, a general search. I have many ways I can limit my search results, of course, but in this case, I have 1,588 results. These are going to be a mixture of informative, um, some perhaps entertainment uh, texts from magazines, but generally speaking, it's going to be informative items from scholarly sources or from newspapers. The way we can focus into an editorial is simply by typing in editorial. We can also put or opinion. That would get us opinion pieces. Uh, some editorial sections are, are labeled as opinions. And then you'll see there's a, a suggestion that you could also add in the word commentary. Um, really, that's up to you. You can decide if you're getting enough results with just editorial or opinion. And you can refine your search this way by adding those additional search terms. So from 1,588 with just beauty pageants, when we add an editorial or opinion, we have 38. Now, what we'll see in this list of results, we'll have a mixture of things that are available in full text and things that are not available in full text. The third item listed has the PDF full text link available, so I can click on that and view the article right now. I can see it's 29 pages long. Okay, it has pulled in the word uh, opinion because it talks about the court of popular opinion. So this is not a perfect way to limit your search. Uh, this is clearly an informative article. It's from a law review. It's happened to use the word opinion in the, in the abstract. So that's why it's pulling up this result. So do pay attention to the titles and then decide whether or not you need to dig in a little bit further to see if it's an editorial piece or not. Again, this is not a perfect way of, of searching, but it's certainly one way you can get into the EBSCO databases and try to narrow down your results. Okay, so if I were to scroll through this a little bit more, I can see, oh, here's one that says editorial. Uh, this is a two-page long editorial. I can see that because it says 2P in the search result. And it's coming from NORA, the Nordic Journal of Women's Studies. It's from 2007, and I have full text available. So this is about violence in the workplace and beauty contests. And I have lots of different other subtopics here, but it's saying that it's an editorial. Let's take a look at this one in particular. And what we'll see is that this journal has put this on their editorial page. So this is an a, a argumentative uh, perspective from this particular journal, an academic journal. It's something that, you know, newspaper pers perspectives or editorials, sometimes they'll be a little bit longer in nature. Sometimes they'll be short. You'll get in letters to the editor. But anything from a scholarly source that is an editorial on your topic should have a little bit more substance to it. I can always print an email from EBSCO. Um, if you have more questions about that, we have uh, several videos on how to search and navigate EBSCO host on the library's homepage. And again, as you go back to your um, main search page, you'll see that the next item, Beauty in the Boob Tube, says in the abstract, this in this opinion article, the author presents her views on beauty pageants. So that's one way that you can narrow down your results within EBSCO is by adding those words. Not perfect, but it does get you a long way down the road. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and ask a librarian. We're always here to help. Take care.